This is verse 20 of the ninth chapter of the Gospel of John. In the middle of this controversy that has been sparked by Jesus healing a man who was born blind, the Pharisees, part of a subcommittee that has some authority, have pulled in the parents in order to interrogate them concerning this because they're, they're of course, in the horns of a bit of a dilemma here. It appears that Jesus has performed this miracle in violation of the prevailing understanding of the Sabbath, although it's not the Old Testament understanding, it's the Talmud and its more restrictive uh, character that is being applied, and yet at the same time it's hard to argue that this is a conspicuous miracle and that a person would not be able to do that without some kind of supernatural involvement. And so that's what they're trying to figure out, and they've pulled in the parents, and they've asked them the question, you know, this is your son, uh, how do you explain the fact that though you claim he was born blind, he can now see? And so we have the response that they provide, apokrithes san, from apokrinomai, deponent verb, means I answer, it'll take the dative if it has an object, here it's the third person plural, uh, aorist active indicative, so apokrithes and they answered un, post positive, therefore, hoi genes, this is the subject of the verb, so hoi genes, the parents of him, out to, this is the genitive, singular, masculine uh, pronoun, so the parents of him, or his parents answered, kai, epan. Uh, this is from uh, Lego, I say, it's a, typically a second aorist in its form. It would be a pone, but here sometimes it'll take the first aorist ending. Hence, we have the alpha nu ending there. They answered and said, oidamen, from edo. Uh, I see is really the literal sense, but it often meant I know. This is common in the New Testament, first person plural, perfect active indicative, suggesting uh, they knew and continue to know, continue to be quite convinced, hoti, that, conjunction, hutos, uh, demonstrative pronoun, masculine, singular, nominative, this, esten, third person singular, present active indicative of a, me, I am, so it is, or we know that this is, ho, huios, the uh, predicate nominative following from the esten there. We know that this is ho huios, the son, hemon. This is the genitive plural uh, of the second person, pro of the first person pronoun. So we know that this is the son of us, kai, and we know that teflos, uh, teflos means a blind man, so it's a masculine noun. Egenefe from genao, I am born. This is the uh, the passive, so it's the uh, third person singular air is passive indicative, and that a blind man he was born. So they confirm, of course, uh, the fundamental truth of the matter. This is certainly their son. They recognize him. Uh, they also have a clear and distinct memory and conviction that he was born blind. That, that was a great tragedy, I'm sure, in their lives. And so they have uh, f affirmed so far everything that's been <coughs> asked of them. Of course, the answer to the question, how it is that he now sees, uh, they are as mystified as anybody by that, but uh, the rest of the story is going to have to unravel the implications of that particular aspect of uh, the narrative.